Dizien Dobri Vanakam and Anyang Haseo. Hey, it's Tom from Green Shorts. And today I'm gonna unform and fire up my stacked Aircrete rocket stove. So the Aircrete's been sitting in the forms for 28 days and I've wet it down a couple of times and kept it covered in plastic to aid in the curing process. Bellissima. These star drive screws are amazing. The only time they really will strip out is if they get a little bit of the air crete in them. So I just clean them out with another screw and then it comes out just super easy. Pretty sure it's the glue that's holding this 2x4 into that section of pipe here. But I am seeing a little bit of a crack right there. And I've got armature inside this U-shape, but it's still pretty fragile. So I'm going to be extra careful as I try and separate this from the form. You know, worst case scenario is some of this stuff does break. I can just uh, use some stove adhesive to glue it back together. But this has come out pretty well. So, excited about that. Of course, this is the base. And then the first stack of the firebox. The grill will go here. And then I have another piece just like this to go on top of that. I had a, an interesting comment that pointed to the fact that <laughs> I tend to make this stuff small. So I've made this more complicated for myself by having such a thin layer of air creep. I could probably have doubled the size on this and it would have been a lot more durable to work with. I'm being very careful here and I think it's going to be okay. And I was working with the materials that I had, the section of pipe on the outside, kind of set the dimension for this whole stove. And I think I could have probably helped myself out a lot by making forms from scratch uh, that would have allowed me to, to actually choose the dimensions of the stove instead of letting them be defined for me. We'll see how this turns out. All right, so safely out of the form. But honestly, this isn't the part I was worried about. It's the riser sections I'm worried about. Then those are next. I helped myself out on this riser section by wrapping the pipe here in the cardboard. It should slide out pretty easily. Of course, this caps off the firebox and starts the riser. These are the parts I'm the most worried about. I do have cardboard on the inside diameter here that'll let me get that inner ring out easily. But I'd actually meant to cut the outside pipe sections and then tape them back together to create the forms, which would allow me to just untape them uh, and pull them off the, the air crete. I may try and push one of these out by itself and just see if it'll slide out of that pipe. But if that doesn't work, then I'm going to use my Dremel and cut the pipe off. Success! Three more to go. I 
think it's gonna be faster to cut these off. While I've got the Dremel, I'm going to use it to hit a couple of the high spots. I'm super happy with how these held up. That's just awesome. Now for the build. The last thing I need to prepare is the grate, which will elevate the fuel halfway through the firebox. I'm actually gonna use a piece of salvaged grill grate, and I'm gonna cut that down to fit. So I can cut this right along the line here, uh, and it's gonna fit perfectly. I love salvaging these grill grates when I see grills at the recycling event that I help with. They're perfect for a rocket stove application, and it's a great way to use these things again. I'm probably gonna have it stick out the front just a little bit so it will support the fuel. And having a little bit of a gap back here is not gonna be a big deal. So, all right, I'm gonna get this cut. I've also found that if you score these things on, the, on two sides, you can just snap it off. All right, now I gotta prepare a spot on rocket stove row. Question is, which one do I move? <laughs> probably the paint bucket rocket stove is probably the easiest to move. Here's the first Aircrete rocket stove I made. Of course, I got my salvage grill grate right here. Fire brick rocket stove. Probably the easiest to build because you can just buy these. Salvage grill grate. Salvage grill grate. And these are just bricks and pavers. Of course, here's the crack resistant concrete rocket stove hasn't cracked the cob rocket stove with the copper coil in it fire brick liner i'll put a link to all of these videos in the description below i've also got a how to make a rocket stove playlist and i'll link that here in the card i've done lots of these and there are pros and cons to each of them so check it out I mixed up some Portland cement to connect the pieces of the stove. Something of note here, this did crack all the way through, but the armature is actually holding it together. That's a bonus. I'm going to use the last little bit of Portland that I've got to fill in some of these gaps.
All right, I'm gonna give the Portland an hour or so to set up and dry out a little bit. No time to cure this because I'm gonna light it up. It's drafting okay, and I think my riser is too short, so I probably need two more rings on the riser to get it to the right ratio. There's a little bit of soot coming out the front here, which if this were drafting correctly, none of that fire would be coming out the front like it's doing right now. It'd be pulling backwards and out the, the top of the riser. Got a nice burn going now. You can hear the rocket. Nice flame coming out the top. I need to add some pot sand off to this stove. For now, I'm super pleased with not only how this looks, but how it's performing. You can still touch the top of the stove here, so it's insulating really well. The riser's a little hotter. Ooh. All right, so I'm super happy with how this Aircrete stacked rocket stove turned out. Probably does just as good a job as my block version as well. The beauty of using aircrete for a rocket stove is that it's super insulated. I've got a lot less volume of cement in this stove, say compared to the original five gallon bucket rocket stove. A little more efficient use of an energy intensive material like concrete. Once this thing got a little warmed up, it was drawing better. So I still am going to add a couple more rings to that riser, see if I can improve the performance a little bit. But for now, let me just say thanks to my patrons and members for helping support these videos. I appreciate the vote of confidence. If you'd like to join me on Patreon or as a member, you can check out the description below. As always, my mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. A rocket stove is green because I'm using found fuel and I'm burning it efficiently. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next Saturday.